<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the daily collective message for October the 2nd. Keep in, keep in mind guys, timing and energy is fluid. Not every reading is going to be for you. So please only take the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. This reading could play out today or over the next several days or whenever you are guided to to hear this message. So let's jump right in and see what kind of a message needs to come through today for the collective. If you have not yet, do feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the channel and help it grow. And let's see what kind of a message needs to come through today. What do we need to be aware of in the energy today? I think you, there's a need to get grounded. I feel you really need to go deep and explore your spiritual roots in the energies today in order for you to kind of get back in the flow. We have grounding. We also have in the flow as well as valiant courage. So somebody here is needing to find their strength, their fortitude, and their courage to take action with passion. And perhaps there is a need to kind of clear and pur purify something from the past. I feel get ready for a deep level of purification. As somebody here activates their vibrant life force energy and prepares to take action with passion. Um, something about Christmas time. If you notice, you know, the sleigh, it's kind of like Christmas energy. So maybe this will play out over the next couple months leading into the holiday season. But I feel, you know, Christmas to me is all about um, magic and, you know, opening up um, surprises and stuff. I think get, get ready for a surprise today is what's coming through. And you might need to get grounded with the earth. I do feel a connection here where the roots go very, very deep. So let's go a little bit deeper and see what other energies need to come through when it comes to this message today. What else do we need to be aware of when it comes to this energy today? All right, new vitality in reverse. Somebody here is receiving a lot of activations, a lot of messages, a lot of downloads with the crown chakra. We do have healing, I believe a missed opportunity in the, in the past is what I'm feeling. Um, and get ready because somebody here is about to go through an unavoidable change, an unavoidable tower, rebuilding from ground zero. So get ready for a towering moment. You are kind of encouraged to take a step back and be the observer in the energies. And I do feel new vitality will be restored. There is a sense of balance that is needed here when it does come to, I feel, a missed opportunity in the past. So let's see what other energies need to come through when it comes to this message today. What else do we need to be aware of when it comes to this message today? Nine of Wands. Somebody here is deeply wounded, trying to find their strength, I was going to say, and the strength just flipped out when it comes to um, taking that, that action that they're really being encouraged to take. I think um, going deep within some wounded energy, and perhaps somebody here was ghosted in the past, and there's fear about coming forward with communication with that strength card. What else do we need to know about these energies? Two of Wands reversed. I think there's been a lot of stuckness, a lot of stagnancy, and I feel somebody here is about to have the rug pulled out from under them because they've been at that crossroads waiting, waiting, waiting for far too long to take action. We do have the Eight of Swords because somebody here has been stuck in an old mindset or a destructive habit when it comes to some old patterns, and that's directly linked to that Nine of Wands, but there is going to be a brand new beginning here, I think, after somebody was left out in the cold. So let's get all of these out, and we will talk about this. There's a lot of truth coming forward. There's a masculine getting ready to assert his logic and to really come forward with that truthful communication, I feel when it does come to a past life connection with the Six of Cups. I do feel reunion energy. I think there's been a lot of grieving, and I do feel there's been some blocked communication. Perhaps a masculine getting ready to deliver a message somebody doesn't want to hear in regards to some past betrayal coming out of hiding. Four of Swords reversed. I think things are getting worse when it comes to a toxic connection. We have the Ten of Pentacles. 
or the Ten of Cups, pardon me, with the Magician Reverse. So there's been resistance to shedding the old, to opening up the heart when it comes to a masculine energy, I feel. And it doesn't have to be a masculine. You could be the feminine watching, carrying masculine energy. We all have both within us. But I do feel a broken connection here with the Four of Wands reversed and the Star reversed. And there is going to be a major realignment. This is an eternal connection. And I feel somebody is getting ready to kind of leave the struggles behind and move to calmer waters, perhaps towards um, this Queen of Cups. I think get ready for secrets to be revealed. There's been somebody here in deep introspection um, when it comes to this connection. I feel deeply, deeply wounded. Perhaps there's somebody um, struggling financially with that five of pentacles, but I do feel this energy of somebody um, having the rug pulled out from under them when it comes to a relationship that really has kept them stuck in this old mindset, in this old paradigm. And I feel somebody here really is gathering all of their strength when it comes to a soulmate reunion that I feel um, they've been suppressed um, from coming forward when it comes to this connection. I feel there has been a lack of communication and a lack of truth and clarity. And there is a masculine here, I feel, that has really withdrawn emotionally to go deep within to understand the brokenness of this connection. I feel what goes around comes around. And I feel somebody here has been in the dark night of the soul, really learning a valuable lesson about a foolish decision um, from the past with the fool reversed. And I think somebody here is going through a major towering moment in order to get them to rebuild from that ground zero. And I think somebody here wants to come back from the past that walked away from a soulmate connection with the lovers reversed and the eight of cups from reversed. I think secrets are being revealed possibly when it comes to a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I also see Gemini here again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. Strong water energy coming through today, Leo as well. But I do feel in the past, there was a disconnection in a deep past life soulmate connection here. And somebody is getting ready to walk the walk of shame to come back and perhaps um, bring that truth and that clarity forward. So let's get some clarification here. And let's dig a little bit deeper when it comes to these energies. I'd like to know a little bit more, please, about this King of Swords. Tell me more about this King of Swords. What can you tell me about this King of Swords energy, please? Knight of Cups. So somebody is getting ready to come forward with truth, perhaps an apology. Um, and I think there has been a huge struggle. I think somebody here is going through a huge towering moment when it comes to a false foundation. I think there's been a lot of struggle internally when it comes to a reunion energy. I do feel reunion coming through very strongly. Judgment energy. Six of Cups. This is a past life connection. There, there is deep, deep roots within this connection. And I think somebody here is facing a lot of harsh karmic judgment for not being truthful and not being honest, really being pushed into speaking that truth when it comes to this connection from the past. And I feel get ready for somebody to reach out with an apology. I think somebody's getting ready to come and face judgment when it comes to some deep wounding of the past. So tell me more about this Nine of Wands, please. The Eight of Swords and the World. So somebody has been stuck in an old mindset. And I do feel this is stemming around betrayal of the past. I think somebody here is getting stabbed in the back. I think they're surrounded by a lot of manipulation in a connection where they've been pretending to be happy. But they've been really struggling below the surface. I, I feel there has been betrayal. There has been a lot of lies and deception. And I feel this energy of somebody going into some deep reflection in order to gain that clarity and that truth. And wherever they're at, they've been watering a dead tree. There's really nothing left here to grow. And the time is now to let this kind of come full circle and to go through this deep level of purification in order to restore a sense of vitality again. There is a masculine here in that deep inner reflection, I feel, when it comes to this betrayal, getting ready to take that decisive action forward. So tell me more about this Five of Pentacles, please. 
What can you tell me about this Five of Pentacles, please? Just the one energy, two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's about to get flipped. Somebody's about to get flipped upside down on their head in order for this major realignment. There's a lot of lies and secrets here. I think somebody's been in a false connection. Absolutely. Ten of cups reversed, nine of swords reversed, the empress reversed, and the queen of swords reversed. There is a masculine here in connection with a feminine energy that is very manipulative, very deceitful, does not tell the truth. She lies. Codependent energies. The Empress in reverse does not know her value. She definitely does not love unconditionally. And I feel a major ending when it comes to a false committed partnership in need of a realignment. I feel things are getting worse. I feel a lot of depression when it comes to this false contract. And I feel there is an Empress in reverse about to get the boot and get left out in the cold. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but either way, uh, I feel there's been a lot of lies here. I think there's been a lot of falsities. I don't think um, this can keep going the way it's been going. I think there's two people here um, in a very deceptive energy needing to walk away. There's no more harmony within this connection. It's time to close out this cycle. Somebody here is getting left out in the cold when it comes to a false contract. Somebody here is about to get the rug pulled out from under them. So let's see about this Ace of Pentacles, please. Four of Swords, healing. Healing something from the past. Somebody getting ready to rush in with that communication after going through some heart chakra healing when it comes to an ending. Somebody here, I think, fears the truth coming to the surface. There's a lot being exposed in the energy today with the High Priestess reversed and the Nine of Wands reversed, especially when it comes to a financial stability. That Emperor, again, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, somebody here, I think, walked away from an Empress energy in the past, didn't quite know her worth, didn't quite value her. And I feel went in the wrong direction. This is coming out a lot recently. And I don't feel there's been any communication about this. I think get ready for secrets to be revealed when it comes to this false connection. And, and tell me more about this Princess of Swords in Reverse, please. What can you tell me about this Princess of Swords in Reverse? I swear I just saw the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's going to be a brand new beginning in love. I think get ready for somebody to reach out. I think somebody can see clearly now. And I think somebody here is, is you know, being taken to that, to that cross energy, coming to Jesus moment. And I do feel um, a major ending when it comes to a false connection. Absolutely. Two of wands in reverse in the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, but I do feel there's been a missed opportunity from the past, and I think somebody didn't want to look at this, didn't want to see this in its entirety, and now all they can think about is this Ace of Cups, is this new beginning, stepping into a higher level of commitment. There's been resistance about taking that step forward into this higher level of commitment, I feel. There's been a lot of blocking. But I do feel somebody here deeply wants um, success, and I think they've been hiding their emotions when it comes to this Queen of Cups energy, really wanting that healing. I do feel somebody getting ready to break free from a toxic karmic connection and to come forward with that apology, rushing in. I think get ready for fast forward movement. I do feel this likely was a missed opportunity from the past, and I feel somebody here is getting ready to make that conscious change, to come forward with that truth, to deliver a harsh message in order to have a false foundation crumble to the ground, consciously um, releasing this burden. I think there's been a lot of blockages when it comes to embracing this heart energy, and there's a masculine about to experience a major realignment as he finds the courage to take action in order to purify what's been tainted within a karmic connection in order to bring balance back in and to rebuild from ground zero. There's somebody here gaining a lot of awareness in the energies today um, when it comes to these secrets being revealed. And I think get ready for an apology. So let's get a romance angel card when it comes to this message today. I think get ready. Somebody is walking the walk of shame, walking away from everything 
that really isn't serving them and I feel they've resisted that for quite some time. The situation really is calling for you to trust and have faith when it comes to this energy. I think somebody is about to experience a major separation, a major ending in order to call in a true soulmate connection. So get grounded. I think a huge shift is taking place. I think somebody here is experiencing a huge fall from grace. I think somebody is getting ready to come back and beg for forgiveness because they want this brand new beginning in love with you. So be open to receiving because with that three of wands in reverse, I feel you very well could have been waiting a very long time for this communication. And the time is now. The wait is over. Blocks are being removed. The time is now for healing. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Either way, a brand new cycle. Somebody here is feeling really foolish for, for choosing the wrong direction. I think they've deeply paid the price. They've been deeply suffering below the surface. And better times are, are coming. There is a lot of illumination in regards to what is going to bring wish fulfillment. And somebody's coming for that Ace of Cups. Somebody wants victory and success after going through a huge loss of finances. A crumbling of a false foundation. There has been a level of confusion, disillusionment. Um, afraid to put in the work, but get ready. There is an apology coming. The time is now to reap that harvest and to really step into that higher level of commitment is what I feel coming through today. And that's what I got, guys. I hope this resonated. If it didn't, you would like to book a personal reading. You can find all of that information in the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.